for investigating after they found a three-year-old girl dead inside a hot car. Federal Mary Mills joins us now live tonight where police just gave an update about a half hour ago. Mary, what's the latest on this ongoing investigation? Well, first of all, very, very sad situation here in Anderson, and it, police at this time weren't able to provide a lot of information calling this an active investigation, but I did just get off the phone with the Madison County coroner, and she told me it appears very likely that this little girl died of overheating, of acute hyperthermia. She said it's consistent with that. What we do know is the three-year-old Hannah Grace Miller was found unconscious in a vehicle in front of her home on the city's west side. She was found about 6 o'clock last night by a family member uh, who said she'd probably been in the vehicle for about two hours before he found her. Uh, he tried to revive her, was unsuccessful, and wound up uh, calling medics, and she was taken to St. Vincent Anderson Hospital where she died a short time later. Now, the coroner tells me that uh, the family had been to church, been to breakfast, the grocery store, had come back home, and evidently they thought that um, the little girl was with her brothers, but in fact, somehow she had remained in the car. Uh, at the time, it was about 81 degrees outside, uh, and we do know that cars can get especially hot in the summertime. In fact, it can be up to 30 degrees warmer inside that car. Uh, we did talk to one woman who lives nearby, said she doesn't know the family, but right now her heart just aches for them. Sad that baby would die like that. This is just so sad. I mean, it just it took my heart away because I'm, I'm just shaking right now because I got grandbabies and for something like this to happen. Now, police are still talking to family members. They say that everyone is cooperating. They hope to have more information tomorrow, but again, uh, the word from the coroner appears that this was just a very, very tragic accidents so uh, and we will be talking more um, to some of the people in that area tonight at six Andrea all right thank you Mary Mills and Anderson tonight such a heartbreaking story and also very heartbreaking to believe that several children have already died in hot cars this year alone and it's only the beginning of the month of June now according to noheatstroke.org and all of last year 42 children across our country lost their lives in hot cars